Good day, Abiding Savior. Always a joy to gather and encourage you uh, for the week ahead, especially for the weekend services. Got a lot of things uh, going on, of course, uh, this week. Uh, annual meeting in particular. And I'm going to encourage you, uh, particularly members, uh, as a responsibility and a commitment that you have made to our congregation to participate in that meeting. Remember, that's this Sunday at 3 p.m. We'll be in the sanctuary and we're looking forward to being able to just share with you the wonderful blessings that God has poured out upon this congregation, especially uh, even in this season of COVID. And again, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday at our three services. And uh, this week we're going to be looking uh, at the book of Judges. And uh, I was drawn to a text uh, in Judges chapter 6, actually. And I don't know about you, but have you ever had a circumstance where there's something nagging at your heart or a, a situation that you're in that you just causes discomfort or just angst and you kind of we get use that phrase you get a pit in your stomach and you know this has kind of been a year of that hasn't it I mean just so much turmoil so much change so many things that are unknown and what we don't know or maybe don't even understand sometimes the events in our world don't correspond to what we want to be happening etc etc so there gets to be an angst upon our spirit and was reading about Gideon in Judges chapter 6. And Gideon lived in a very anxious time, 400 years really of uh, not any real rule or authority and people just did what they wanted to do. And that was a very difficult season of time. And we meet a, a man, a Gideon, who really lacked peace and he lacked confidence. And in Gideon's, or Gideon, in Judges chapter 6, we're gonna read about how Gideon discovers both peace and confidence. And the text that I, I was reading, and I just this was what really struck me in, in, in Judges chapter 6, verse 23. This is God now speaking to Gideon. The Lord said to him, Peace to you, do not fear, you shall not die. Then Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and named it, The Lord is Peace. And I thought that's a good word for us today. We can find our peace and our confidence in the Lord just as Gideon did. And on Sunday we'll discover how that's accomplished. God bless. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday.